Today, ICC Digital brings you a radio production of the play Riders to the Sea by John Millington Singh. I directed this play four times throughout my career, once for the Riverside Studios, twice for the Irish Cultural Centre in Hammersmith and also for a UK tour. This radio production will star Nora Connolly as the mother, Moira, Bartley will be played by Martin Halvey, the oldest daughter, Kathleen, will be played by Trina Dillon, and the youngest daughter, uh, Nora, will be played by Alicia Daly. While you listen to this play, you'll be looking at a photograph of a man on the Aran Islands staring out at sea. This photograph was in fact taken by the playwright John Millington Singh. And we'd like to thank Trinity College for permission to use the photograph. I hope you enjoy the production. Where is she? Where's Mother Kathleen? She's lying down, God help her. And maybe sleeping if she's able. What is it you have there in that bundle, Nora? The young priest is after bringing them. It's a shirt and a plain stocking we got off a drowned man in Donegal. We're to find out if it's Michael's they are. Sometime herself will be down looking by the sea. How would they be Michael's, Nora? Did you ask him would he stop Bartley going this day with the horses to the Galway Fair? I won't stop him, says he. But let you not be afraid. Herself does be saying prayers half through the night, and the Almighty God won't leave her destitute, says he, with no son living. Is the sea bad by the white rocks, Nora? Middle and bad, God help us. There's a great roaring in the west, and it's worse it'll be getting when the tides turn to the wind. Shall I open this bundle now? No, Nora. Maybe she'd wake up on us and come in before we'd done. It's a long time we'll be, and the two of us crying. She's moving about on the bed. She'll be coming in a minute. Give me the ladder, and I'll put them up in the turf loft, the way she won't know of them at all. And maybe when the tide turns, she'll be going down to see would he be floating from the east. Passed up to me here quickly. Is it up in the turf loft? Ye are. Isn't it turf enough you have for this day and evening? Sit yourself down by the fire, mother. There's a cake baking at the fire for a short space. And Bartley will want it when the tide turns if he goes to Connemara. He won't go this day with the wind rising from the south and the west. He won't go this day, for the young priest will stop him, surely. He'll not stop him, Mother. And I heard Eamon Simon and Stephen Feety and Colm Sean saying he would go. Where is he itself? He went down to see whether there'd be another boat sailing in the week. And I'm thinking that it won't be long till he's here now. For the tide's turning at the green head, and the hook is tacking from the east. Shh. Here's someone passing the big stones. Oh, look, I can see him coming. And he in a hurry. Where is the bit of new rope, Kathleen? Was bought in Connemara. Give it to him, Nora. It's on a nail by the white boards. I hung it up this morning for the pig with the black feet was eating it. Is this the rope, Bartley? Give it to me here. You don't write to leave that rope, Bartley, hanging by the boards. It will be wanting in this place, I'm telling you, if Michael is washed up tomorrow morning, or the next morning, or any morning in the week. But it's a deep grave we'll make him, by the grace of God. I need this rope, for I've no halter, the way I can ride down on the mare. And I must go now quickly. This is the one boat going for two weeks or beyond it, and the fair will be a good fair for horses. I heard them saying below. It's a hard thing they'll be saying below if the body is washed up and there's no man in it to make the coffin and I have to give a big price for the finest white board you'd find in Connemara. How would it be washed up? And we after looking each day for nine days and a strong wind blowing a while back from the west and south. If it isn't found itself, that wind is raising the sea, and there was a star up against the moon, and it rising in the night. If it was a hundred horses, or a thousand horses you had itself, what is the price of a thousand horses against the sun, where there is one sun only? Listen, Kathleen, let you go down each day, and see the sheep aren't jumping in on the rye. And if the jobber comes, you can sell the pig with the black feet, if there is a good price for it. How would the like of her get a good price for a pig? Kathleen, if the west wind holds with the last bit of the moon, let you and Nora get up weed enough for another cock for the kelp. 
It's hard set will be from this day. It's hard set will be surely the day you're drowned with the rest. What way will I live and the girls with me and I an old woman looking for the grave? Pass me my new flannel shirt, quickly, and my coat. Look, in the distance I can see the boat. Is she coming to the pier? She's passing the green head and letting fall her sails. I'll have half an hour to go down, and you'll see me coming again in two days, or three days, or maybe four days if the wind is bad. Isn't it a hard and cruel man? Won't hear a word from an old woman, and she holding him from the sea. It's the life of a young man to be going on the sea. And who would listen to an old woman with one thing and she's saying it over? I must go now, quickly. I'll ride down on the red mare, and the grey pony follow behind me. The blessing of God on you. I I'll go, so. He's gone now, God spare us. I will not see him again. He's gone now, and when the black night is falling, I'll have no son left me in the world. Why wouldn't you give him your blessing and he looking round in the door? Isn't it sorrow enough is on everyone in this house without your sending him out with an unlucky word behind him and a hard word in his ear? Stop poking at the fire, Mother. You're taking away the turf from the cake. The Son of God forgive us, Nora. We're after forgetting his bit of bread. And it's destroyed he'll be going till dark night. And he after eat nothing since the sun went up. Oh, it's destroyed he'll be, surely. There's no sense left on any person in a house where an old woman will be talking forever. Mother, I've cut him a piece of cake. Let you go down now to the spring well and give him this and he be passing. You'll see him then and the dark word will be broken and you can say God speed you the way he'll be easy in his mind. Will I be in it as soon as himself? If you go now, quickly. Oh, it's hard set I am to walk. Give her the shtick, Nora, or maybe she'll slip on the big stones. What shtick? The shtick Michael brought from Connemara. In the big world, the old people do believe in things after them for their sons and children. But in this place... It is the young men do be leaving things behind for them that do be old. Go, mother, quickly. Now let's fetch that bundle down. Wait, Nora. Maybe she'd turn back quickly. She's that sorry, God help her. You wouldn't know the things she'd do. See, has she gone round by the bush? She's gone now. Throw it down quickly. Lord knows when she'll be out of it again. The young priest said he'd be passing tomorrow, and we might go down and speak to him below if it's Michael's they are, surely. Did he say what way they were found? There were two men, says he, and they were rowing round with Puchin before the cocks crowed, and the oar of one of them hit caught the body, and they passing the black cliffs of the north. Here's the bundle. Give me a knife, Nora. The string's perished with the salt water, and there's a black knot on it you wouldn't loosen in a week. I've heard tell it was a long way to Donegal. It is, surely. There was a man in here a while ago. The man sold us that knife. And he said if you set off walking from the rocks beyond, it would be in seven days you'd be in Donegal. What time would a man take and he floating? Here's it open, Nora. Look. A shirt and a single stocking. The Lord spare us, Nora. Isn't it a queer hard thing to say if it's his they are, surely? I'll get his shirt off the hook, the way we can put the one flannel on the other. Oh, it's not there, Kathleen. And where will it be? I think him Bartley put it on him in the morning, for his own shirt was heavy with the salt in it. There's a bit of a sleeve was of the same stuff. Give me that and it will do. It's the same stuff, Nora. But if it is itself, aren't there great rolls of it in the shops of Galway? And isn't it many another man may have a shirt of it as well as Michael himself? It's Michael. Kathleen, it's Michael. Oh, God spare his soul. And what will herself say when she hears this story? And Bartley on the sea. It's a plain stocking. It's the second one of the third pair I knitted. And I put up three score stitches. And I dropped four of them. It's that number is in it. Ah, Nora, isn't it a bitter thing to think of him floating that way to the far north and no one to keen him but the black hags that do be flying on the sea and isn't it a pitiful thing when there is nothing left of a man who was a great rower and a fisher but a bit of an old shirt and a plain stocking 
Tell me, is herself coming, Nora? I, I hear a little sound on the path. She is, Kathleen. She's coming up to the door. Put these things away before she'll come in. Maybe it's easier she'll be after giving her blessing to Bartley, and we won't let on we've heard anything the time he's on the sea. We'll put them here in the chimney corner. Will she see if was crying I was? Keep your back to the door, the way the light will not be on you. Wished. Oh, oh. Mother, your back so. You didn't give him his bit of bread. Oh. Did you see him riding down? Forgive you, isn't it a better thing to raise your voice and tell what you've seen than to be making lamentation for a thing that's done? Oh. Did you see Bartley, I'm saying to you? My heart is broken from this day. Did you see Bartley? I seen the fearfulest thing. Oh, God forgive you. He's riding the mare now over the green head and the grey pony behind him. The grey pony behind him. What is it ails you at all? I've seen the fearfulest thing any person has seen since the day Bridey Dara seen the dead man with the child in his arms. Oh, tell us what it is you've seen. I went down to the spring well and I stood there saying a little prayer to myself. Then Bartley came along and he riding on the red mare with the grey pony behind him. Oh, the son of God, spare us, Nora. What is it you seen? I seen Michael himself. You did not, mother. It wasn't Michael you seen for his body is after being found in the far north. And he's got a clean burial by the grace of God. I'm after seeing him this day and he riding and galloping. Bartley came first on the red mare and I tried to say, God speed you, but something choked the words in my throat. He went by very quickly, and the blessing of God on you, says he, and I could say nothing. And I looked up then, and I crying at the grey pony, and there was Michael up upon it, with fine clothes on him and no shoes on his feet. Oh. It's destroyed we are from this day. It's destroyed, surely. Didn't the young priest say the Almighty oh. God won't leave her destitute with no son living? It's little the like of him knows of the sea. Mm. Oh, God, Bartley will be lost now. And let you call in Eamon and make me a good coffin out of the white boards, for I won't live after them. I've had a husband and a husband's father and six sons in this house. Six fine men, though it was a hard birth I had with every one of them, and they come into the world. And some of them were found and some of them were not found. But they're gone now, the lot of them. There was Stephen and Sean were lost in the great wind and found after in the Bay of Gregory of the Golden Mouth and carried up the two of them on the one plank and in by that very door. Did you hear that, Kathleen? Did you hear a noise in the northeast? There's someone after crying out by the seashore. There was Seamus and his father, and his own father again were lost in a dark night, and not a stick or sign was seen of them when the sun went up. There was Patch after what drowned out of a curragh that turned over. I was sitting here with Bartley, and he a baby lying on my two knees. And I seen two women, and three women, and four women coming in, and they crossing themselves and not saying a word. I looked out then, and there were men coming after them, and they were holding a thing in the half of a red sail and water dripping out of it. It was a dry day, Nora, and leaving a track to the door. Oh, is it Patch or Michael or what is it at all? Michael is after being found in the far north. And when he's found there, how could he be here in this place? There does be a power of young men floating around in the sea. And what way would they know if it was Michael they had or another man like him? 
For when a man is nine days in the sea and the wind blowing, it's hard set his own mother would be to say what man was in it. It's Michael, God spare him, for they're after sending a bit of his clothes from the far north. Look, they're all coming now, and they're carrying a thing among them, and, and there's water dripping out of it and leaving a track by the big stones. Is it partly it is? It is, surely. God rest his soul. The men are bringing him in now. They have him covered with a bit of a sail. Pull the table out so they can lay him upon it. What way was he drowned? The grey pony knocked him over into the sea. And he was washed out where there is a grey surf on the white rocks. Oh. They're all gone now. And there isn't anything more the sea can do to me. I'll have no call now to be up crying and praying when the wind breaks from the south. And you can hear the surf is in the east and the surf is in the west, making a great stir with the two noises and they hitting one on the other. I'll have no call now to be going down and getting holy water in the dark night after sowing. And I won't care what way the sea is when the other women will be keening. Oh, give me the holy water, Nora. There's a small soap still on the dresser. Oh, it isn't that I haven't prayed for you, Bartley, to the almighty God. It isn't that I haven't said prayers in the dark night till you wouldn't know what I'd be saying. It's a great rest I'll have now and great sleeping in the long nights after sown. If it's only a bit of wet flour we do have to eat, and maybe a fish that would be stinking. Maybe all ye's men would make a coffin when the sun rises. We have fine white boards herself bought, God help her, thinking Michael would be found, and I have a new cake you can eat while you'll be working. She's quiet now and easy. The day Michael was drowned, you could hear her crying out from this to the spring well. It's fond as she was of Michael, and would anyone have thought that? An old woman will soon be tired with anything she will do. And isn't it nine days herself is after crying and keening and making great sorrow in the house? <sighs> They're all together this time, and the end is come. May the Almighty God have mercy on Bartley's soul and on Michael's soul and on the souls of Seamus and Patch and Stephen and Sean. And may he have mercy on my soul, Nora, and on the soul of everyone it left living in the world. Michael has a clean burial in the far north by the grace of the Almighty God. Bartley will have a fine coffin out of the white boards and a deep grave, surely. What more can we want than that? No man at all can be living forever. And we must be satisfied.